Hey there, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. I'm trying really hard to get this to work. Facebook is just not happy with me tonight. Um, and hopefully uh, you guys will be able to see this. I'm not sure whether or not I can uh, get Facebook uh, trick it or not. That's basically what we're doing because Facebook decided when I went live on um, Sunday that that was our Monday Q&A. And so it says I've been live for 77 hours. You guys have been staring at a black screen for 77 hours if that's the case. That's just a little on the crazy side. Um, but yeah, so trying to trying to make Facebook happy. Hopefully YouTubers, um, you guys hung around because we were basically live on YouTube for a little bit um, instead of um, anywhere else. So um, hopefully, you know, you guys can see it. And all is happy, um, but that's the goal. So we're going to see. Um, and even now, we may not still be live. Like, this is just the fun. It's trying really hard. I see um, that all is good. Let's see. Are we good? Maybe. Maybe you see this. Maybe you don't. So whatever. <laughs> this is just the way technology is going to work tonight, guys. So hopefully we're all here. Hopefully we will all... Um, be playing around and getting to actually have a discussion um, at some point. Uh, let's see. Okay. One last thing. Okay. Hey, guys. We'll start this again. I have tried so many times for the last 10 minutes. I'm sorry if you've given up on us. Um, but it is Q&A time, 10 minutes late. Uh, we're going to blame it all on Facebook tonight. Um, but hopefully you guys can see me and all is well and right in the world. Um, now, how this works, you leave your comments um, directly below the video uh, or in the chat box. And myself or my husband, we will try to answer all of your questions um, while we're here. Don't worry, he won't answer your questions. He will just relay them to me. He would try, but um, yeah, he is amazing but you have to make the list for him. Don't make him answer your questions. So um, we're going to dive right in. I basically spent the last 10 minutes talking to myself because I thought that it was broadcasting and it wasn't. So I am glad to see all of y'all saying hello. It is wonderful to not talk to myself uh, and to see that y'all are here. Um, that's just, you know, we've, we've done a really long spell without technology issues. So I guess you just, you have to have those every now and then. Um, so hello to all of you. Thank you for hanging around for the extra 10 minutes wondering where in the world I was. Um, <laughs> yeah, so my husband just put in the comments, I love it, that he'll answer your technology questions because that, that's what he does. And I will try to answer your couponing questions. So I think you guys should totally throw some technology questions his way. Um, I actually picked his brain for a good chunk of the morning. This is writing a post. It's going to go up tomorrow on how to stream um, football. Uh, that, you know, starts this coming weekend, all the different ways that you can stream. So he can step in every now and then. Um, I should have just made him write the post, but yeah. So our topic tonight, since we're here and we get to go and things are actually working and you all are here, uh, is saving money with groceries online. And it's a huge question that I get from a lot of folks. Is Amazon Prime worth it and Prime Pantry or Instacart and Shipped and the delivery services that are out there? Is there a way to save money with those um, or should we really not be using them at all? Now, I'm going to tell you up front, um, you will always save more money to be in the store uh, shopping with sales and coupons than you would ever be able to save shopping online. So, you know, I don't want uh, to make any of you think that you are going to get you know, some crazy good deals and never have to go to the grocery store again. Because really what it is, it, the whole delivery, the whole online uh, shopping concept is that we're kind of getting more and more lazy. I mean, you already have folks that don't want a coupon. We want to go only to Aldi or Lidl. Yes, there are deals there. But yes, you would save more money if you followed the sales with coupons. I know that makes Aldi people hot and bothered, but it's the truth. And so when we look at those stores and we look at the concept is to save money and to save money fast, this is just taking it to the next level, guys. When you're looking at online ordering and you're looking at having your groceries delivered, I mean, that's really the concept is that you're trying to get this 
to where it's less and less of your time. And no, I'm probably not going to save as much as I could, but let's hit it and let's talk about all the expenses and then maybe some things that actually are worthwhile to grab online. Um, so, uh, Carrie's asking, you know, stock up price on trash bags for, for me, Carrie, as we talk about ordering things online, there are some things that I can't get, um, super, super cheap anywhere else. And that might actually be a good online purchase and trash bags is for me. There are a number of times that I have ordered them from Amazon Prime or Prime Pantry deals in particular. Um, so with trash bags, what I would look for is um, that 45 count box, which is like the traditional size box in the grocery stores, aiming to get that, if you could, as low as five bucks. It's normally around six. Right now you can get hefty for six in Target this week. Um, you can get Glad and other um, brands for $5.99 at Publix starting on Wednesday, $5.99 in Bilo and Winn-Dixie. So it's kind of the go-to um, price that we see in the grocery store with a coupon and a sale. And those for, are for name brand. That's for Glad and for Hefty. Um, we have uh, a few things in our world. I think everybody does that you know the brand that you prefer. And Glad Force Flex Trash Bags are the preferred brand. And when I buy the not preferred brand, the person in the house that takes out the trash who shall remain nameless usually gets a little grumpy when the bag falls apart. So um, I try hard to buy the ones that are the preferred brand. Um, and we can usually see those between five and six dollars in the store. However, there are times when Prime Pantry is going to cream it. Um, so that is the one uh, one of the many that I would kind of put in that category. So when I say Prime Pantry, that's where I would push most of you to do your online shopping because of the way that Amazon runs promotions. We don't want to buy them regularly from Amazon. We want to buy them when we see a coupon on them. I can clip the extra savings. I can do subscribe and save and order it that way too. And then cancel the subscription. You don't ever have to get it again. You don't want to get it again, actually, because the coupon isn't going to apply to future purchases. It's just going to apply to that first one. Um, but if I can hit things like trash bags that don't usually go buy one, get one, um, I do. I may have a coupon, but I'm not going to walk in and find hefty trash bags, buy one, get one. It's, it doesn't exist. You're going to see it on sale for $3 or so off of its normal price, but that's it. Um, so you got to take what you can get. And that's where an example of let's order this online. And now before we go Amazon Prime, though, I really do want to cover Instacart and Shipped um, because that's where everybody's going. Target just bought Instacart just outright um, because they see so many people moving to these platforms. So how they work and can you save money with them? Um, I spent a while comparing the two over the last two weeks. I actually took the Publix ad and I took all the prices that were on sale in our store and put them in a column. And then I found the prices on Shipped and I found the prices on Instacart um, so that I could compare the difference. Um, and it was a little eye opening. So first off, um, if you use Shipped, let me just tell you, um, it's expensive and they, they are not winning on prices in any way, shape or form. Now, I know the fun part of Shipped is that um, they're making a lot of great side money for some stay at home moms and for other folks because you can be a shopper for them. And it, it's a pretty cool job. Um, great way to get paid to be in the grocery store. But for the person that's, you know, paying for the groceries, uh, they do not follow the sales at all. So something could be buy one, get one at Publix, but in the shipped app, it's going to be almost regular price. Not, it might, it might be a little bit below its full price, but we're not talking a massive discount at all on those items. So you're paying almost full price, even for items that are buy one, get one in the store today. You're not going to have a lot of coupons to pair in with that either. Uh, they do have some incentives like buy these particular items and get free shipping today, um, but they don't have a ton of that there. Shipped is also the higher one on um, monthly fee and all of that with delivery. So um, the other issue that I had as we kind of break through them is that shipped um, and this is S H I P T. I, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that a lot of y'all have seen Facebook ads for this and other ads all over the place. Um, the other issue with them, you cannot even see prices without creating an account 
and putting in a credit card. Um, they will bill you after two weeks if you do not cancel that account. Now, um, I forgot to cancel the account so I can tell you how great they are to work at. So as soon as I saw the email come through that I had been charged the whopping $99 a year, I sent them a very fast email and said, whoa, 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 I have never even used your service and I have no plans to use your service. Please cancel my account. I got an email within five minutes um, that said, done, we've refunded your money, we're so sorry, and then immediately offered me 50% off the entire year and two free months. Um, so, you know, hey, if you're curious at, at doing it, that may be the way to go, guys. Instead of paying the $100, let's cancel and let's see what they offer you as a please stay around amount. Um, I was impressed with how fast their customer service was and how fast they were to, you know, give me all my money back. But it's definitely frustrating to not even be able to look at prices, to have an idea of whether or not you would want to use it without having to put in credit card information. So it's a couple like knocks against you on that one versus Instacart. Now, the, the difference between the two there as well, so Shipt does work at a ton of stores in town. Um, depending on where you are, they may not be in your area, but in our area, I could go everywhere from Costco um, to Publix to Tar. They go everywhere almost in our city. Um, versus Instacart goes to um, Publix and CVS and um, Petco might be the, the three, and Target is coming. Um, so it's just, you know, Figuring out who has the most number of stores that you would want to use if you really are going to use those services. Between the two, though, Instacart wins to me over ship. Now, keep in mind, I am not going to use these services because still the price is a good, if you want to know the full numbers, it's a good 30% markup. That's massive. So on a $70 grocery purchase, that's like choosing to pay 21 extra dollars to have somebody deliver it to you, plus you had to pay a yearly fee to already have them deliver it to you. So yes, you got free delivery today, but you paid 99 bucks to be part of the service. You didn't get free delivery, you just felt like you had free delivery. Now, so 30% markup, that was the easy one across both of them, but I will say for Instacart, um, that they did get a few like points in their column because they do follow public sales. So anyone that's a public shopper, if you're trying to decide between Instacart and Shipt and you're totally going to do these services, if it was buy one, get one in Publix, it is buy one, get one on Instacart. Um, so I can't use, uh, you know, I can't use traditional coupons there, but I can at least get the sale. So just to keep that in mind between the two of them. And guys, I have no skin in the game here, so y'all are welcome to get on and share how much you love these services. I am just kind of laying it out there as I've analyzed them, looking at their prices, comparing it to the actual sale prices in Publix, uh, and you know, trying to give you that clear guideline to follow. Um, now, Instacart yearly, they have a, a kind of a fee that you can pay. If you want to add that on, um, that's going to give you free delivery and all these other things. But you, uh, from everything that it appeared to me, you don't have to add that on. You could pay, I think it was seven dollars, six dollars um, per trip if you wanted to. If you were like, you know, I'm only going to use this a couple times, you could do that if that's the route you wanted to go. Um, so they do follow the BOGO sales. Um, oh, and sorry, Instacart in our area. I wrote all this down, so I would try to keep it straight. In my area, Instacart worked at Publix, Costco, CVS, and Petco. Um, so four stores that I could work at. However, it was just the Publix sales. That's all that I saw that they were following. So like when I pulled up CVS, the things that were on sale in CVS this week, they were not on sale through Instacart. So I think they've just kind of just paired in with the Publix deals. Um, and they do run promos for free delivery as well. So by, uh, when I pulled up the other day, I was like, buy $20 worth of Tropicana products and get free delivery. That's a lot of orange juice, but free delivery if you wanted to do that. Um, but just so you kind of see those two next to each other. So 30% markup between both services. But if I had to pick, it would totally be Instacart over shipped. Now to break away from those and let's talk about other services. Um, because those are our, those are our true. Someone went to the store, someone shopped for you and then delivered it to your house, usually within a few hours. Those are delivering same day. But if we really want to look 
at saving on groceries online, because that's not really saving there. Saving you time, maybe, but it's not saving you money. If you want to look at saving, then we're really going to get into the services where these are going to show up in a day or two days. We're going to do Amazon Prime. We're going to do Google Express. Um, we've got a, a few others. Um, we do have, you know, Walmart curbside and um, Target curbside that you could do as well. But, um, you know, just to get to the online side before we go to the curbside so that you can kind of see those two Um there are some ways to save there. There are some coupons that they're going to run. There are promotions they're going to run. You can usually manage to get free shipping on the order. Um, that's where the incentive is to do some of your shopping online. So I kind of came right out of the boat uh, and we're talking about trash bags. And that's just one example. But there are some other things that we will see really good prices on watching for those promotions and discounts on specific items. So that's what I want to encourage you um, as we go through. So you don't feel like all I'm going to do is trash Instacart and shipped. There are actually some things that you should you should grab. Um, I promise. So I want to jump into questions really quick. I've seen a lot come through and then we'll go through those. Um, so here we go. Let's see if I can get through and, and get all caught up. Um, Carrie says, are there any deals on copy paper? So Carrie, I, um, I have not seen a ton this week. Um, I know we've seen some buy one, get one deals in Staples and Office Depot. I would probably check Staples. Um, uh, they do still have some of their school deals running on their website. Not everything is still in stores. It's while supplies last in stores. Um, but you could at least kind of check in and see, oh, that's not what I pushed. Trying to get to Staples' website. Um, see if they're running anything because they have been um, running buy one, get one cases, buy one, get one reams. Um, they love to run buy two, get one. That's not really a sale. That's like 30% off. Um, so don't dive into that one. But I would go, yeah, they've got buy two, get one cases right now. Um, I would always start at Staples. You can check Office Depot and see if they're running anything with rewards. They tend to run those towards the end of the week. Um, but I don't know of anything in particular. Um, I will dig for you, though, after we're done. Um, do I know when Land's End or L.L. Bean might have discounts on book bags to buy ahead for next year? So, when we have seen a couple of days already that were 50% um, off days for Land's End, um, L.L. Bean did have a sale earlier uh, in the school year. We haven't seen anything in the last few weeks. Um, let's see, I'm trying to see, uh, well, they have 40% right now off of deluxe book, pa uh, book packs. Who calls them that? Um, but they have 40% if you wanted to go that route. I don't know that we're going to see them on super, super clearance, uh, for being anyway until later in the year. Um, but 40% isn't, isn't too bad for a bean backpack. It is on select patterns. So you want to check that out. But if you go to their homepage, it is right um, below and I see just scrolling. Um, it appears it's actually just one style. So it is the deluxe, that one bag, but it comes in probably eight different colors. So it's 40% off. And, um, oh, and you also get a free $10 gift card to use on any future purchase of $50. So there's your bean deal. And Land's End, we probably will see some clearance and some push push to kind of clear things out within the next couple of weeks because everybody tends to put back to school starting on clearance next week. You know, once Labor Day is over, hopefully you've bought it because there's nothing left um, at that point. Um, I have a question about CVS. I had a four off 18 in shampoo and a four off 14 in pant for Pantene, but the cashier says that I cannot use both. So Sally, generally, um, well, I guess it, it depends on how you have them. If you have them as paper CVS store coupons and the cashier is refusing to scan them, um, the first thing you can try is, you know what, will you just try? Because the computer will either accept it or not accept it. It's not really for them to decide. Um, now, if the computer is rejecting it, um, then I would say you possibly didn't buy enough for the two to work together, um, which Looking at math, as long as you bought $18, $4 off of 18, you still should have been at the 14 for Pantene and you should have been fine. So my guess is that the cashier just refused to scan them at all. 
So a solution for you, you may not like this, but a solution would actually be for you to start to load all of your store coupons directly to your CVS card. So to use the CVS app, um, when you use the CVS app, and I didn't, I didn't plug this in, but I'll plug it in really fast and try to pull it up so I can show you. Um, but when you use the CVS app and you log in and you save your card in the app, um, you will be able to see every coupon that is going to print for you at um, the coupon center. And so instead of waiting for it to print, it's going to give you the option um, to, sorry, I'm trying to get the screen set up to do my phone. Um, it's going to give you the option to save it to your card and, um, oh, come on. Um, once you save it to your card, there we go, you will um, be able to automatically have them apply. So this is where I am in the store. Everything is saved to the card. Cashier has no say at this point. But I love digital coupons. So folks that, you know, have difficulties with a Kroger and Kroger doesn't want you to use a coupon and get something for free. If you've got that coupon as a digital coupon, there's absolutely nothing that that cashier can say. They may not want you to get something for free, but they can't stop the machine when the machine knows what it's doing. So um, for me, if I come in here, I can see, here we go, these are the start of my store coupons. I can see every store coupon. If I did not send these to my card, if I went to the coupon center instead, they would print the coupon center, but I don't want them as paper. Instead, I can just hit the send a card. Um, and so once I hit that, that just changed. Now it's saved to my card. And when it applies, it just auto applies. Like the cashier doesn't even have to hit anything. The only thing the cashier is going to be triggered to hit are these extra care bucks. So that she's going to stop and make sure I save that one really quick. That one she's going to stop and say, okay, well, what of these do you want to use? And I'm going to tell her, you know, I want to use the 10 and the 5 and the 2, whatever. Hopefully you've done your math so you know what you want to use. But all of these others are going to auto apply. So that's where I would encourage you to be. It's going to make that so much happier for you because it's not going to come up to the moment for them to say, I'm not scanning these. They don't really have a say. It's loaded. And if I bought $18 worth of shampoo, they're going to both come off without issues um, for sure on that one. Okay, so a couple other questions and we're going to jump back in. Uh, Aaron, uh, off left field past Granny's house topic. Um, for a washer, I see the sales that have started for the holiday. Do I uh, run or go slow um, and stroll or do I wait until the weekend and see if it gets better? So here's the thing, Erin. I would, if you see something you want now, um, I probably would go ahead and grab it if we're talking new. Um, the only reason is that most of the stores, if you end up finding it cheaper within a week or even two weeks and you come back to them and you say, hey, I bought this on Tuesday and now you've got it, you know, 10% less, they will give you the difference. The big stores, Lowe's, Home Depot's, all of those, you're going to be good to still be able to get this coming weekend sale. You're within that window without a problem. So if you're wanting to go new and you kind of want to get ahead of the rush and, uh, and the delivery rush, do it. Just promise yourself that you're going to keep an eye on those sales. Don't order it and then get lazy and not watch the sales. Um, so that you can make sure that you go back in and you get that difference if it does go lower. Now, if we're talking scratch and dent, um, those items, you never know what it would have been marked down to. So I'd almost wait for the three-day weekend just to see if they took their scratch and dents lower, uh, unless you know there's some crazy good deal on scratch and dent that you want to go ahead and grab. Now, we tend to be in the scratch and dent shopping when we're looking for a new appliance. So not really looking in the new section, um, kind of uh, on the, the mercy of whatever they have in stock, but I would still probably hold out that maybe they would mark them down a little bit lower on that three-day weekend. Um, okay, do I have any online weekly lists on the site? So Heidi, from time to time, I will do a list of current Amazon coupons. It actually takes a really long time to piece them all together, and the prices on Amazon constantly change. So I don't tend to do a ton of it because once I spend time putting it together three days from now, the prices have all gone up and it didn't really get you very far. But let's talk, um, let's just jump there and talk specifically uh, Amazon for a bit. 
Uh, and then after we talk Amazon Prime, we are going to talk. So Holly, I see your question on Kroger Clicklist. We're going to talk um, Kroger Clicklist and Walmart Grocery and whatnot. And I will tell you just as a, you know, I guess leaping ahead of myself, I do not view Kroger Clicklist in the same category as any of these because you can still use coupons. So Kroger Clicklist is entirely like going into Kroger. I can still come in with my paper coupons um, and I'm still going to walk out the door and have everything that I wanted to have and all the deals that I plan on having, sometimes even better, because of Clicklist coupons. Um, so all for it if you have that in your area and Kroger is your store. Um, but I'll get a little bit more further into that in a second. Um, let's see. Um, so to jump through Amazon, I'm gonna share my screen um, with you so you can see the craziness of Amazon. So if you've not ever found Amazon coupons before, uh, the best way to go hunting for them is to actually come to the top of the site and type in the word coupons. It'll just take you straight to the page of all the Amazon coupons. So that's what we're looking at. Uh, and then we can actually come from here and we can tell it that we want to see, um, you know, whether it's the, um, oh, I got a little box in my way. I got to move that out of the way. Um, so right now it's sorted by most popular. Uh, we can go expiring soon. I mean, we can almost sort this like we could any mobile app. Most popular does not always mean anything here, guys. Most popular sometimes just means it's whoever paid to be at the top. Um, so I have no doubt that the $3 off Pampers is the most popular, but I, I mean, I don't know about the others. You need to use some as a little bit of, of hesitation, um, before you just go crazy. But when you click on them, um, if I click from here to click on Tide Pods, it's going to pull up everything that it applies to and I can click see more if I want. My goal here, just like my goal would be in a grocery store, is let me find the cheapest item that applies to this $2 off coupon that I just clipped. So I've got a $2 pack of, uh, or a $10 pack of 35 count. Um, and that's probably the cheapest item. Oh, here's $9.99 for a 35 count. Um, so it's always hunting to pair that in. In the end, it's definitely going to come out to be your better option once you take $2 off. Um, so they've given you the price per count, that price per count that's right, um, I'll do it over here, you can't see, the price per count that's next under the item is always before the coupon. So you do need to kind of pull out your calculator and make sure that we are getting the best price. Um, but I would always recommend with the coupons, I'm going to back up for a second, that you do that, that you click on it and you see everything that that coupon will apply to so that you know that you're getting the best offer that is there. So I'm currently looking at all... Um, but I will say my favorite offers are really these percent off ones. So like this guy is saved 25%. I don't eat Velveeta, but you get the point uh, because you're going to save a, usually a chunk more than than two bucks when we get the percent off ones. And because then you could grab even a bigger box and then you're getting more and, and getting a bigger discount. Um, so keep in mind with Amazon, like these guys right here, they're only good on Prime Pantry and it has the Prime Pantry logo underneath it. Prime Pantry is a whole nother creature because now I have to order a pretty big box. And uh, if you've not ever ordered from them, uh, oh, sorry, can't click there. Um, there are no goldfish, guys. Can't buy goldfish, no matter what we want to do. Um, let's see if we can find another Prime Pantry. Um, here we go. Oh, no Prime Pantry, period. I wonder if that's our issue. Yeah. Okay. Well, we give up on you, Prime Pantry. Or maybe it's all of them. Let's see, let's just try to reload. Amazon does not want us sharing their secrets today. Um, okay, well, let's try you again. Maybe, nope. No coupons for you. You guys get the point. There we go, Nature Made. We got one to work. Um, so with Prime Pantry, what I was gonna try to show you, I was just randomly clicking there. Um, but when we're dealing with Prime Pantry and you go in, you're going to have to fill your box and maybe we'll just go here and then you can see it too. Uh, usually to where they'll say that it's full. Now, they're going to say it's full at some crazy amount. So you just keep adding and you keep adding and your buggy's just not getting full. You need to be aware of that. that this is going to be a pretty big order by the time we try to get that box all the way there. They do run a lot of promotions. They're still running their free Honey Nut Cheerios that they were running with Prime Day. Um, but I can put all these sales together 
and do pretty well if you wanted to. So, you know, just to kind of throw it out there, but realize that we are, we're talking a very big box. Now, some of the things that I would, re would recommend, we want to start looking at the promotions. Like here is a buy five and save $6. Are there any deals in there? Let's look at the coupons. Um, so we start with the coupons. We look at the deals. Um, we look at, is there a freebie like the um, Cheerios that's running? What can I piece together to kind of make the best offer? But in general, product wise, I would recommend that you kind of stay away from grocery. So, you know, if we are looking at, you know, I can order salad dressing from Amazon. Yeah, you could, but I could also get this in the grocery store for like 25 cents a bottle. So stay away from grocery. Most grocery items I can get pretty cheap. I would focus on households. So like I mentioned, the trash bags, toilet paper, uh, cleaning supplies. Those are good if they're on sale, if we've got an Amazon coupon. Those are good things to be grabbing for a Prime Pantry order or even a Google Express order uh, anytime that I'm ordering online because I can usually get a pretty decent discount um, pairing all of that together. So um, like this guy right here, it's buy five and save $6 off your next order. So you're going to get Quilted Northern, 12 double rolls. You're basically going to save $1.20 off of each one of them with the instant savings. Some of them are also going to have coupons available for them as well. Um, so as you click through and you kind of figure it all out, if I've got a coupon that I can pair in and I've got that other promotion, um, it's saying it has three applicable promotions. So it's, can, it can be paired with that Prime Pantry membership. It can be paired with the free onion Cheerios. Um, you get the idea. But if I can pair all that together, let's do it. Let's you know make it as cheap as we possibly can for those items. So with your Prime Pantry box, you're going to see that it's going to fill up uh, and they're not going to uh, let you ship it until they say it's full or it's free shipping if you want to go all the way to the $40 level. But household items, some personal care, I would be hesitant there on a lot of them because that's drugstore. I could do really well in the drugstore. Um, but household, so paper goods, trash bags, paper plates, Ziploc bags, those kind of things are great for filling up a prime pantry box. There are a couple of other items too, um, you know, just to kind of come back to full screen here. Um, a couple of other items that I would recommend. Um, so I pulled a few out. But there are some items that in the grocery store, um, not only do they follow really tight seasons. So we see this is sweetened condensed milk. And we're going to see this during baking season and only during baking season. But even then, we're going to see it for $2 a can. And it's regularly like $2.40. So it didn't really hit a huge discount. It's incredibly rare to see it go buy one, get one. If you love to bake, items like this that we see that are rare buy one, get ones, maybe going to go... 20% off on sale in the store. This is where I would point you to boxed or jet.com, um, sometimes Amazon, because if I can order it in bulk and it's a decent price, you're going to come out ahead of the grocery store price. So we actually did this with a jet.com order last fall. I didn't order sweetened condensed milk, but I ordered evaporated milk and it was a 12 pack case basically of evaporated milk. Normally in the store, I can get evaporated milk on sale for a dollar a can. Uh, and we managed through Jet and through Jet deals um, to be able to get evaporated milk for, I think it was like 55 cents a can. That's considerable. Just cut the store sale in half. Doesn't mean I'm always going to buy my evaporated milk from Jet.com. But it just means that in the hunt for things, you know, as you get sent an email from Jet and they're offering you X amount off of grocery purchases, the, your brain needs to immediately start thinking, what are some things that we use that either are rarely on sale, rarely do I have a coupon for, you know, that I could stock the pantry with for those items. So another one that I would recommend for a lot of folks, honey, it's pretty rare to find it on a super, super cheap price. Uh, and we can actually do pretty well with online orders for honey. Um, so just to throw that one out there too. So staying away from typical grocery. So uh, no cereal, unless they're going to give you your free Cheerios. You can get your free Cheerios. That is totally allowed. But, um, you know, I could go into Publix and get this right now. Uh, buy one, get one with a coupon this week. 
much cheaper than you will ever find it on any grocery online site. So no typical grocery. Just think grocery that is rarely on sale, grocery that rarely has a coupon. If you want to use the item search for this, that may help you. You know, if you're pondering, like, I don't know if Quilted Northern at $6.99 for a 12 pack is a good price. Use the item search on Southern Savers. Put in Quilted Northern. Put in a date of two months ago. Uh, and you're going to see every sale we've seen on Quilted Northern. And you're going to know is you're basically paying $5.79 after that promotion is $5.79 for a 12 roll pack of Quilted Northern a good price. And then you can kind of make that decision as you go. But um, just to kind of, that would be how I would lay it out if I was trying to analyze whether or not I was going to order or not. But I'm always looking for the promotion. So this wouldn't be like a standing order. I, I will do subscribe and save, but I will always cancel it. So I'm selecting it only to get the additional percent off always canceling it before the order ships again, because remember, you will never get the coupon that you use today applied to the next order. Never. So you'll always want to cancel. Uh, that second order is going to be painful to see when it comes in because it's going to be full price. Um, okay, let me jump back to some questions. Um, uh, Target summer clearance items, um, they did not go 90% off this year. Do you think back to school won't go also? So Josie, pretty much Target, by the time they're hitting 70% clearance, they're getting wiped out. I have not seen Target need to go to 90% in a while. And people are kind of sitting there chomping at the bit, waiting, uh, and 70% is their go crazy day. So I don't know that I would take things past that point. We will see back to school go to 70%, whatever's left. Um, but I doubt that you'll see it go much past that. Um, how soon do you get Office Depot, Office Max rewards, and where do you find them, or how can you check on them? Okay, so if you log in to your Office Depot account on the site, um, you will see them all right in your account, uh, and they're there pretty quickly. So let's see. I'll pull up mine and show you. Um, I just want to make sure you don't have some way to, you know, be able to log into my account. That would make me very sad. Um so let me share my screen with you. Um, but all I did was come in at the top, log in up in the top corner, and then you'll see on your dashboard how many rewards you have. And then I clicked on rewards activity. So I've got an order of batteries, and then I have all the free Purell, and um, they did paper and whatnot too. Um, so you can see both of those offers. You do not get rewards um, for the tax usually. So whatever that tax was, um, that is not happening. Oh, and then, um, hmm, uh, we can see what the issue was here, but we didn't get the full amount back on that item. I'll have to dig into it and see. Um, but you can see every single order. It's pretty quick on, oh no, I guess we did. That is, um, everything in terms of the order total, once you take out the tax, we got everything back. So we're good. Um, you won't get your tax back, but you get everything else back from that order. And for me, I ordered this on uh, 8-2, and I'm pretty sure it was in my rewards account um, on 8. Uh, you know, it's all right there. I had it within two days, maybe. It's usually 48 hours or so. Uh, this was the free paper and whatnot, and it was... Um, Friday a week ago. So yeah, that's, I mean, right in there and it's already there too. Just remember when they run freebies, you can't. So when I got all this free paper, I couldn't really use my batteries to help pay for that one. So this week they've got batteries guys, since we're here, I will, I'll show you. Um, so if you go to rewards offers, um, they have a hundred percent back in Duracell batteries. I cannot, oh, it's behind my head. Sorry. Um, if I grab these, I can grab two but I can't use those rewards that I already have. I won't earn any more if I use the rewards that I already have. So I'm going to be adding more Office Depot rewards into my account if I grab them. Um, and then when I add more rewards into my account, um, so rewards activity, um, I'll, it'll keep adding in here, but they're good for a really long time. So just to kind of keep that in mind too, they're not going to go away for a while. What I would say is, you know, if you've been wanting a new printer, if you want to save them for Christmas presents, these I know are both good through um, into December. So 
could totally save them for that. You can pretty much use them for a good chunk of things in the store. So um, I don't know that I would go crazy on every single freebie. I definitely missed a few of the ones that they had or I chose not to get them. Um, this $51 order I jumped on because it was a bunch of card stock and I am trying to teach 24 little girls a badge on um, scrapbooking right now. So you know what? If Office Depot is going to give me supplies to help, I will take them up on their freebie. Um, but that's where you're going to find it. And hopefully that answers your question um, as well on how to use them and that you can't roll them to be towards the next deals. Um, so Paige, how do you find scratch and dent appliances? So Paige, watch Office Depot, Home Depot. When they deliver appliances, uh, sometimes things happen and th those same appliances are going to come right back to the store. Someone rejected them. They had a big scratch down the side. They're brand new, um, but there is something wrong with them. The best way to find the most page, if you've got a couple stores in your area, so in our city, there's four Lowe's, five Lowe's stores. Um, but we, we learned this a few years back that the truck kind of starts at one store and um, picks up appliances and then delivers them all, but returns to the store that it started at. So most of the scratch and dents return to this one store in town. It's kind of finding out what store is that, what store has the best supply. You kind of, you just have to watch. You have to watch what they've got coming in uh, and then decide how bad is the scratch. Now, if we're looking at a fridge and the scratch is down the side, but you're about to shove that into a little pocket and no one's even going to ever see the side, you should buy that fridge. It's a really good deal. Uh, you know, it's all about where the damage is and where you're sticking it as to whether or not it's going to work for you. But keeping an eye out on those doors. You can also always call them. Hey, do you have any marked down scratch and dent fridges right now? And they'll tell you what they have in stock right over the phone. So you could save yourself the trip too. Um, have there been any HP laptop deals? I want to say there was one in um, the uh, back to school ads this week. Staples did not have much in their ad. Um, though Staples is usually the one that has the better of the laptop deals that are out there. Uh, I wasn't really that impressed with their laptops um, that they put in their weekly ad, but you can always check and see what they have online. We've really seen much better deals on Dell this year through Dell Refurbished. Um, let's see, looking at it, we've got a Intel i3 HP for 400 on Staples site. Uh, I would probably point you to an i5, and they have one of those for 450. I mean, it's it's not bad. If that's what you're wanting is an HP specifically, I'd probably point you in the direction of Staples. You could always compare that price against Amazon as well. If Amazon had it cheaper, you could do the price match guarantee back to Staples. Um, but do keep in mind that sometimes they make models specifically for a store. So you may not be able to find the same model somewhere else to even be able to price match. Um, but I would probably head to Staples. Okay, and yes, Paige, I do post the Office Depot list. So if you go um, up to the top of Southern Savers and you click on Office Supply Stores, um, you'll see all the past lists for Office Depot and Staples. I usually only cover them during back to school season. So um, once back to school season's over, there's not really a ton going on in their ad, but whenever they're running free batteries, I will always tell you that. I will never let you miss that one. Uh, and we see that a lot come Christmas time. They'll almost run it every single week. So there should never be a need to have to pay for batteries during, during Christmas time. Uh, they are going to keep you very well su supplied. And shipping for Office Depot is usually free. So if, uh, if you're logged in, you can either do in-store pickup or you'll end up with completely free shipping on your purchase. So that's the route I would go. For me, the batteries shipped completely free. And then the other order I did in-store pickup. Uh, it just depends on what you have in your area. Um, you'll, you'll be set. Okay. Um, oh, Crystal says, a long time ago, I was able to redeem them for gift cards. Is that still possible? So they did revamp their rewards program when they merged with Office Max. And they definitely changed some of the rules around it, Crystal. I have not ever tried redeeming them for gift cards, though. So, um, you know, maybe some others can chime in on that one and tell you whether or not they have tried it. I just know um, that I would I would be expecting a no if you tried, but you could totally um, you could totally try. 
if you wanted and just see what they said. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, I think I'm almost caught up. Uh, when's the best time to buy a new lawnmower? No. Uh, no, we're right here. So end of season is always the best time. This is technically end of season. So lawnmowers and grills. We were just talking about that on Sunday too when I popped in. Um, if you've waited all summer, you're officially here and after Labor Day. So don't go before Labor Day. You really have a few more days, um, but you're going to see some really good sales, really good markdown sales on grills and lawnmowers post Labor Day as they try to make room for all the craziness that they put in for the holidays because they're going to start their holidays. I mean, I saw them setting up uh, big, huge displays for uh, all the, the fun of October. Um, they're going to start them very soon. So they have to make some room quick. And um, there is a brother printer on sale today. So I posted this earlier today. I will try to grab the link for you. I know it's on Facebook because I stuck it on Facebook um, as soon as I posted it. But there is a... Um, it's a kind of higher end printer is on sale for 99 bucks right now, which is the price that lately we've seen just the regular basic model. Um, here we go. Here's the link. So I will stick that um, in for you uh, for the printer. So uh, this is a printer, scanner, faxer, copier, everything. And it's $99 shipped. Doesn't have tax either. Kind of fun. So it's from B&H Photo which is a, it's a very legit um, photo site, not normally a place that we go for printers, but they have a really, really good price. Um, that printer is uh, normally 150 plus, depending on the site that you're on. Like Staples and Office Depot would tell you the regular price was 199. So we'll take it at 99. Um, okay, so um, since we changed some, um, Oh, so yes, Miss Kendra. So we got rid of a couple newspapers. It's it wasn't anything personal. We cleaned out regional variations for the cities that we had no data for. So uh, Orlando, a couple of others. I did. I don't have a volunteer sending anything in for that area, and so you have been selecting it this whole time. But it really hasn't been doing anything for you. And basically, we just took away the selection so that you didn't think it was doing something for you. So nothing has changed really for you at all. Your lists are going to be exactly the way your lists were. Um, but now you're kind of not thinking that there was regional variations because there really weren't. Um, the volunteer for Orlando had quit a few months back. We hadn't had any data for Orlando in a while. Now, that said, we are always up for new volunteers um, is you comparing what you got against the preview that we posted. Um, you know, to be humorous, this would be a great week to start. There are no inserts coming out this coming Sunday. So you could totally call yourself the volunteer, but have no work to do whatsoever. Um, so yeah, stay away from the newspaper um, for Labor Day. Don't worry about getting one. There won't be a single coupon in it. Um, but normally you would take your inserts, you would compare them against the preview and just let us know if the value was different. So you got a 55 cent coupon and we told you in the preview it was going to be 35 cents. Or if you just got a completely different coupon, you would let us know that too so that we could make sure. Um, okay. And Diana, someone had actually already asked about paper deals for printers. There's not really a lot there, but I'm going to go digging for you guys. Uh, and as soon as I can find a deal, I will try to post it. Uh, I just couldn't really quick uh, when I looked earlier. Okay, let's jump back in. I know I started late, so I, I do want to finish on um, all these other things. We, I mentioned um, Kroger Clicklist. I do want to emphasize I do not put Kroger Clicklist in the same category at all um, for online grocery shopping. I love their concept. Um, and I... I guess to take it further than Kroger for folks that don't have Kroger, two other stores fit this same context. So Harris Teeter and their Express Lane and Lowe's Foods with their Lowe's Foods to go uh, and Kroger Click List. All the same concept because I shop it online and I get the exact same sales that are running in the store. So um, this is Kroger Click List. Seedless watermelons are on sale in the store. I am going to be able to add that straight to my cart. I mean, I'm still driving to the store to get it. I am getting the store sale right here. Um, so mega event items are going to still pull up. The tricky part 
with this and specifically Kroger here is that I actually can't see that it is a mega event item. So keep in mind with mega events, I have to buy X number of participating items. You're still going to want the Southern Savers list up so that you have an idea of did I buy enough items for the mega event in the first place? But I can load all of these to my cart. Um, I can even load coupons for them straight to my cart uh, and then swing into the store and grab it. So there's actually, um, so 15% off and get free shipping. I don't know that you need to ship your, your Kroger, Kroger groceries, but you could. Um, and um, earlier today, I found a coupon for $10 off of a $50 purchase. So I'll go hunting and see if that is still good as well. Um, but that would be pretty sweet too if you've not ever tried it. So with ClickList, um, well, actually with a few of them, usually your first order is completely free. And um, after a few orders, they are going to start to charge you. So just be aware of that. Uh, Kroger gives you three for free. Um, but then after your third one, you're going to have to pay uh, a, a fee each time. Harris Teeter and Lowe's Foods do offer a um, like year price where you're going to be able to get um, as many orders as you want and not have to pay any more. Um, I'm not 100% sure if Kroger offers that or not, though. Kind of makes me want to go digging. But for Kroger, I've only used one so far uh, and I'm kind of saving my other two. Uh, just a little hesitant because there are some quirks that you would need to know about with mega events in particular with Kroger. Um, you've got to buy the certain amount. If they're out of it, they will either substitute or if you tell them no substitutions, they're not going to substitute. But then your, your mega event numbers are off. Even if they substitute, they're not going to substitute the mega event item. They're going to usually substitute a larger item or um, a similar brand, but not the item that was on sale. And so now your counts are all off and it can definitely throw some quirks in on you when you're trying to do that. Okay, so Wendy's saying, can we quickly discuss Walmart? So same concept with Walmart as well. Uh, and I'll try to find that link for you guys um, for Kroger at the $10 off. And I'll stick it in the comments when we're done because I looked really quick and I couldn't find it. Um, but with Walmart and Walmart Grocery, um, and I will do a screen share here. Walmart's pushing it hard. As soon as you come to the site, uh, free grocery pickup because Walmart's not going to charge you that you know $5 fee that everybody else is charging you. Uh, they'll actually get it all together for you. Your first order, they'll even give you $10 off. Uh, you will be able to get the sales that are running. So uh, any rollbacks, you'll also be able to get them here. The one big hesitation on Walmart, I am not going to be able to use any coupons on this order. So this is almost like an online order at that point because we've taken away some of that extra savings opportunities. I mean, I'm going to get the store sales. So here are Hershey's bars are on rollback but I'm not going to be able to use the coupon. So just be ready all the way, you know, just fully to understand that one. It doesn't mean that you're still getting the best price though. And I cannot use any mobile apps with this because you're not going to get a traditional Walmart receipt. So if you're thinking that you're going to go and submit it to Ibotta or any of those, they're not going to take it. So it's kind of frustrating. So just to pick on this one, since it's right here on the homepage, these are buy one, get one starting Wednesday at Publix, and we have a mobile app offer. So once we pair that in, you're going to walk out the door paying, I think it's like $2 a pack for the six packs of Hershey's versus the $3 pack in Walmart. Uh, so you're still dealing with the overall Walmart issues, uh, which normally it's not the cheapest guy in town. Uh, I will get a better deal going to the grocery store. I mean, that's just my classic answer to Walmart always. But when we completely remove the coupons and completely remove the mobile apps, you're always going to get a better price somewhere else. So this is almost in a, almost in a sense like Instacart because we are getting the sales. So with Instacart, we are getting the sales in Publix, but we're not getting any other coupons. And so I don't know. It just, it's not, not as fun at, at that point. So just to keep that in mind as you're going through. It is nice to not have to go in the store though. So if you want to go that route, you totally can. Um, you won't have to go anywhere. As long as you have a $30 order, they're going to bring it outside to you without you having to walk in the door. 
So if this is the route you wanted to go, you totally could. Um, but not necessarily the cheapest route. Uh, that said, at least one order is doable because you can use that 10 off 50 first time order coupon. Uh, after you've used that, I don't know. I mean, that's 20% off. So if you have things that you wanted to grab, it could be a pretty decent savings to go ahead and take that 20% off with the 10 off 50 um, for at least your first order, for sure. Um, is now a good time to buy a hammock? So Sandy, it could be. Uh, I don't know how many of the local stores sell a lot of them in terms of the big stores for that to be a clearance item, but I might start watching like Wayfair. So Wayfair is a big furniture uh, site online, but they run some pretty sweet clearance deals. And I would also watch uh, like World Market online. World Market runs some pretty good clearance deals as well, but after Labor Day. So it's, it, anything that's considered a summer item, they tend to all hit big clearance after Labor Day. And we're seeing Dollar General and Big Lots have already started their summer clearance, but not everybody else has. Target's already clearanced a lot of their patio things, and that's where I would see Target putting uh, a hammock. So I'm not sure that Target would even still have anything around. Um, but, you know, that would be a few places to look. And Wayfair would probably be where I think you're going to end up um, if you're looking for tra a traditional hammock. Now, if we're talking like, uh, you know, parachute hammock, like the Inus or an off-brand, I would just go Amazon. And there are some great off-brands um, that are, they are still great quality and they're half the price of the name brands for a pretty decent hammock. Um, but yeah, if you're wanting like a Polly's Island hammock, uh, I would probably go Wayfair and just start watching their clearance and keeping an eye for what you're wanting to pop in because they are going to have, they have some crazy good clearance deals, um, but they're going to have the best chance of something like that hitting the clearance that you're looking for. Um, so Wendy, is Walmart good for me? It can be. Uh, honestly, if you are wanting to be in a grocery store for me, I would say your best bet is um, to look, the smaller the grocery store, the better the meat price is. So if you've got a little tiny IGA or a mom and pop grocery store, they're going to have some crazy good meat prices because it's really all that they have to be able to mark down. They don't have the uh, associations with the big brands and manufacturers to run mega events and all of this that we see in the big grocery stores. They have meat and they have produce uh, and that is what they can control. So you'll see a number of really good markdowns in those two sections um, versus heading to Walmart um, where I'm not always going to get the best price. Um, you're going to probably do better if you just watch the sales in the grocery store over the full price in Walmart. Uh, one place for me though that I would point you to if you could is to buy in bulk. So it's going to restaurant supply stores um, or anything similar that you may have in your area and trying to buy a chunk of meat versus just one package. You're always going to save. Another thing to look for in meat is markdown meat. Um, I'm not sure if whether or not Target or whether or not Walmart does a ton of it, but I know Target does. So keeping an eye in Target for they'll put stickers on it that say three dollars off today. That would be your go-to for Target, and then the grocery stores. You'll never see markdown meat in Publix, but most every other grocery store does mark down their meat and it's just learning when they do their markdowns and then coming home and freezing it. As soon as you come home, that's usually the best way to get your best price. So like, think of it like your scratch and dent. It's your scratch and dent for meat, but you're definitely going to get um, some good prices for that. So Carrie, can I use Ibotta with these grocery store pickups yet? No. So uh, most of these stores, the Walmarts, um, they're not giving you a traditional receipt. They're really giving you like an online receipt that's, you know, you kind of think of it as your big eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and Ibotta is not going to take it. So you're left really missing out. Not only did you not get to use paper coupons in the store, but then you didn't get to use mobile uh, apps either. Um, you just need to kind of, it, it's all about what your receipt looks like when you get to the car. And if my receipt's not traditional, then I can't use the mobile apps. And for most of them, that's the case. Okay, so going down my list, making sure we hit everybody. Um, I, I've mentioned Google Express, guys. If you've not ever shopped Google Express, um, there are some decent deals there. Uh, and some of that is because there are a number of stores that offer free shipping um, with a $15 order. So, you know, if I've got a Target red card, I can get free shipping um, 
with uh, any order with my Target Red Card. But if you don't have a Target Red Card, you need a $35 order to get free shipping at Target. But if I actually head over to Google Express, I can get a free sh- I can get free shipping on any $15 order um, through Target. And I can even get some of the Target sales. I cannot get Target gift cards. So, um, you know, just to clear that one up, I can't use Cartwheel here either. But, you know, if you love LaCroix, it's it's on sale today. And I'm going to get free shipping with any $15 order. So you can actually hit the on sale category. We can go and see more. I can look at everything that's on sale right now. And potentially, when you think about the fact that, again, it's free with any $15 purchase, uh, free shipping with any $15 purchase, you can do pretty well. Like uh, markers, 99 cents. I didn't have to go to Target. That's the sale that everybody has, but I didn't have to go anywhere. So don't look past Google Express, uh, especially Target and a few other stores that offer that really low uh, shipping threshold. Um I think that you might be surprised by the things that you can find. Like these guys are regularly a dollar on sale in a lot of places. But again, for, uh, it's not a huge order that's required. You know, you you can grab two or three things that you could have gotten the same price somewhere else. But now that little tiny order, we're good to go. So uh, I would encourage you to check this one out. I'm not going to say that everything here is an incredible deal. But you're going to be able to spot some of them, especially if it's things that you regularly purchase um, without having to, you know, do a bunch of digging. Um, so we're, we've got a number of back to school supplies in there. Uh, we got trash bags. <laughs> so, you know, this is a 52 count trash bags. These are actually the small ones, but, uh, you could go there too if you really, really wanted to. So just to mention with Google Express, again, not every store. I've actually specifically come in here and just clicked on Target. Um, but you can come and find, where are they? Um, you can find all, oh, right at the top. I just zoomed right past it. So these are all the stores that Google Express works with. Um, and it's kind of hit or miss in figuring out what everybody's shipping is. I'll tell you, Walmart's is not as low as Target's. Um, so it's it's you figuring that out um, as you click on them. So as soon as you click on them, it's usually going to tell you what the shipping threshold is. And like even PetSmart here is free shipping on a $15 purchase. So I can still grab their sales. All their sales are loaded in here as well. Um, and, you know, go to town if you wanted to on a small order, not much needed to hit that free shipping. And guys, we've even learned with a few orders, you don't really need $15. You need $14.50 and it will still ship for free. It'll tell you you're close enough. So a little hidden tip there for Google Express. Uh, you do not have to get all the way to the 15. Uh, we've we've enjoyed that one. Uh, and then Jet.com, really quick to mention Jet. Um, so Jet.com is now owned by Walmart, but they do have ways that make things a little cheaper as well. And they offer um, some bulk purchases. So with Jet, you can come in. I would even go straight for grocery um, or household. So let's go household supplies. Um, they run sales. They do run promotions where if you buy a certain amount that they'll take some off. You just need to kind of watch what's currently on sale. Uh, and then let's go trash bags. Since it's too, we, you know, we, we brought this one up in general. Um, but when I add some things to my cart, so this is Glad trash bags. It's 120 count. If I add this to my cart and then I start to add other things to my cart, that price will actually be lowered. So I could come in here and I could add this Glad trash bags to my cart. And once I do, uh, a lot of times, it didn't affect those that time, but a lot of times that price is going to get lower and lower. Oh, here we go. Add this to make prices drop. Um, it will lower other things if there are things in your cart. And I guess we just didn't choose the right items to, to add in the first place. But uh, once we've hit our $35, we're going to be able to get free shipping. So um, all these items right here, I know I'm in the way for some of you, but he says, add this to make the prices drop, to make the prices drop, um, kind of gives you the, the idea of what you can add. Um, and as soon as you do, so I'm just kind of playing here, but as soon as you do the, all the other prices in the cart get lower, uh, the more you buy also, so you can see here on these, um, add this to make the prices drop, the more you buy, you're going to get even cheaper. So if we went and we bought two and we added that, um, let's view our, let's nick some of these guys that didn't adjust our price any. 
Um, no thanks, we really don't want him. And we're already going to be, um, he really wants to stay in our cart. There we go. No thanks. Um, so you can see where we were. They both came down a tiny bit by adding more things in. Um, and you only need a $35 order here for it to ship for free as well. So it's worth looking into. I'm not going to say this is an amazing deal. I wouldn't go um, stocking up, but does show you kind of the concept. The more that you add, the cheaper the items are going to get. Um, and they do run some promotions. So wait for the promotions rather than just randomly adding things to your cart um, just to watch the prices get cheaper. I don't know that you're going to get a, a really good sale uh, all the time with that, but hopefully that um, helps you to kind of see it all in, in those particular sites. So um, let's see. Oh, Lidl has four pound sugar for 89 cents. That is a pretty good price. Um, and, you know, in terms of Lidl and Aldi, I know I, I always tell you guys it's not always the best price, but they do run sales. And Lidl beats Aldi on that one. I had someone that was asking me recently, like, how would I compare them? Lidl runs a lot more sales than Aldi. So if you've got, you know, in my area, they built a Lidl across the street from an Aldi. If I have to pick, I would probably be Lidl over Aldi. Um, not only meat and produce sales, but also some other random things that they'll mark down each week. The sales do change, so you want to keep an eye on them. Um, but there are some decent sales, as long as you're willing to watch the sales. Now, if you're going in just because you want to save money without putting any time into it, um, then I don't know that everything in the store is as cheap as we could get other places. But their sales are definitely good. Um, okay, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody's questions. Um, is Labor Day a good time for bedroom furniture, Sandra? Yes. Uh, any three-day weekend is perfect for appliances and furniture and large ticket items. So we are right here. And most of these places are going to start their Labor Day sales early. So as Aaron was mentioning earlier, you know, should I wait all the way till the weekend or start shopping now? Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to call and see if they've already started their sales. Definitely by Thursday, most of them have because they're just chomping at the bit waiting for that three-day sale to start. Uh, so just... You know, be ready. It gives you more time to shop, less kind of feeling like you've got to make a decision really, really fast. But uh, it's going to be a good weekend for it all the way around. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, yes, Wendy. So, yeah, if you wanted to use your, your Walmart 10 off 50 for me, that would be the way to use your 10 off 50. It's 20% off. It's not not bad at all um, to get an extra 20% off. Um Okay, so I think I'm all caught up. Yeah, and you can. So thanks, Paige. So if you go through Ibotta, go through the Ibotta app and, and then go to Jet, you'll get cash back. Um, and Paige says right now Ibotta is offering 10% cash back for a Jet.com purchase. So even better. If they're going to offer super high cash back and then you're going to get you know a, a, a deal, we're going to get a promotion, then putting all that together is going to be a pretty sweet savings. Um, but it's all about the promotion that's running uh, and not all about just ordering it because I need it and ordering it because I don't want to leave this, the house and I want to have it delivered. Let's wait until it's on sale at least. I mean, that's the whole concept here, right, guys? Um, so, yes. Uh, and Tiffany, you're saying that what's the best time of the year to buy furniture? It probably is about this time, Tiffany. So it seems kind of strange, but we don't see super low furniture deals around the holidays because a lot of folks are looking to shop for other people, not really looking to shop for themselves. We'll see some sales. I mean, we still have three-day weekends. We still have after Thanksgiving, but they're actually not as low as we see in kind of the dull time of the year, which is now. So think about that as you head into Labor Day weekend and the sales that will be running on the three-day weekend. But also when you're shopping furniture, think about the fact that their sales it's kind of like a used car salesman here uh, because their sales are not set in stone, guys. So if we're going into a big furniture store, locally big furniture store, you can always talk them down. And on a three-day weekend like Labor Day, this is kind of a boring middle of nowhere. That's the reason Labor Day exists, guys. Look it up. Uh, it's just somebody really needed a holiday. So we've got this time. Um, you're going to be able to talk them into some pretty good sales if you are willing to take the time. So it's all, it's like buying a car, but if you're willing to take the time, uh, this is probably your good weekend for that. Uh, and yes, they will have some Black Friday sales, but I don't think that you're going to get much better. Um, what you're going to see for Black Friday is um, the things that you like Christmas presents for dad. We're going to find recliners. 
a pretty good price. We're going to find TV cabinets because you bought a new TV on Black Friday. And so they're hoping you're going to buy a new TV cabinet to go with it. Um, things like that. You're not going to see really great mattress deals um, or anything else other than like dad's recliner. You, you get the idea. The things that I would give as a gift or the things that I may need because I got a gift. So something to work with my new TV, something to work, you know, that kind of thing. That's what we see around the holidays but not the other furniture in the house. Okay, um, I am gonna go ahead and call us there. And guys, I'm gonna make a really big change on you. So uh, if you're still hanging around, hopefully you won't miss it. I'll try to make a ton of announcements. I am gonna still have a Q&A next week, but it's not gonna be on Monday. I just, I can't do it. I love you guys and I love that you're always here and we always get to hang out. But next Monday is the first Florida State football game of the whole year and it starts at eight o'clock. Um, so while I love you, I really love Florida State football. So rather than canceling, I was thinking we would just do Tuesday night at 8.30. So I know it's a massive change. I have been doing Q&As on Monday nights, I think, for about six years now. So we're changing. It's just one week. Just one. On a Tuesday night, we're going to do 8.30 next Tuesday night instead of Monday night. Monday night's Labor Day anyway. Y'all are all going to be off buying furniture, it sounds like. Um, so... We're going to go with Tuesday at 8.30 next week. Um, and I think I already have a topic laid out, but if you guys you know, ever want to talk about something else, we can always change that up. What did I have planned? Oh, we were going to talk about how uh, what's really on sale. So we've done this a few times, but how to spot a sale, kind of going through the weekly ads, things to stay far, far away from, um, and then how to know what is really on sale today and what's just kind of a pretend sale. So that's what we're going to talk about um, next Tuesday night. But if you have ideas or topics that I have not covered that you would love for us to cover, because like tonight's, we haven't really ever talked this one at, at length, um, feel free to shout that out and let me know. Always up for new ideas. Um, so, you know, just let me know. But Tuesday night at 8.30, I hope that a lot of you guys can make it. I don't want to cancel since I just canceled last week, um, but I really want to watch some football. So I'm sorry, guys. Um, oh, Laura, I'll forgive you. It's okay. There's always somebody who is orange and blue in the room. Um, but I went to Florida State. I got I to gotta cheer for my garnet and gold. So y'all have a good night. I will pop back in on Wednesday and share all the deals that we got from the grocery store and CVS again this week. Um, and I will uh, be back next week on Tuesday. So thanks for joining me and talk to you guys later.